Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Give Us a Cthulhu Adventure, where we are in uh, Fishmouth and we are trying to figure out how to get some rotten fish, which I assume is up here in this hatch. I'm pretty certain it's up there from what's been said. Uh, and we needed to get a way, fight off. we need to find a way to get past this guy. And I think we found it in the last episode. We found a word which should send him to sleep. So, uh, I bet I know what your command is. I bet I know what your command is. I'll bet you you don't. I bet I do because I have magical powers. Um, didn't we? It was was it bubble wrap? Bubble wrap. How'd you? Yep, that was the one. It's been a couple of days since I recorded the last episode, so I'd forgotten it. But we remembered. And he is asleep, just like that. So now can we go? Oh. Huh. Yeah, no, he's asleep. I have to admit, I had serious doubts, but it, uh, it actually did. And it was time to get my robes dirty, so to speak. Nice, okay. Oh, okay, so he's gonna chunder cover. <laughs> Achievement unlocked, brilliant. Yeah, so he's gonna do that by himself then. Oh my god, what is this? Alright, this is the, the festival so, then. this was it. Stinky old fish method. Oh yeah, this is Smell fish method. It was probably the fishery I'd just come from times a thousand. I was blending in like a professional and itching to sink my teeth into whatever Fishmouth had to offer, except the local food. Yeah, of course. This is this is Darkham, not Fit. Sorry, this is Fishmouth. The last place was Darkham. I kept calling it Fishmouth, and and yeah, even some of you guys said that it wasn't Fishmouth on the last episode, and I still managed to call it Fishmouth. So, anyway, we're here. Um, oh God, there's a lot going on here. Um, sensitive cultist. There's a lot of people. Someone looks like they're passed out on the floor there. That's probably not a good thing. Uh, right, let's go and look at this door then, I suppose. See what's going hey, on here. It's a door blocking my access to who knows where. Yeah, that's a point, actually. We don't actually know what's in there. Can we... Hello there. Go away. Yep, still that voice. So I uh, take it you don't participate in the festival? Go away. That's that, I guess. <laughs> yeah, uh, can we use the magic thing? Oh god, that is hideous. I don't even want to know what's going on inside no, there. No, we really don't. Um, okay, let's look in this barrel. Oh, an open barrel. Whoever could resist the primal urge to peek into its dark recess. Yeah, can we take something? Looks like we might be able to. I've got a rotten egg. Yeah. Well, I can't smell it anyway. I, I guess I'll keep it. Okay, so we've got a rotten egg. It actually makes and me... And a name tag. Ah. Randolph. Apparently we're Randolph now. Lovely. Okay, so I was going to check. So we've got the hook as well while we're here. Uh, oh, God, the fighting cultists. What is going on? A couple of these lunatics pushing and shoving each other. Why am I not surprised? This place is crazy. Not interested. Also, there's some good news by the um, developers of this. I have no idea why she's doing that, but it's... Uh kind of fun to watch it's kind of weird um the developers of this have actually launched um well the kickstarter finished the other day um for a follow-up well it's not really a follow-up it's set in the same universe as this i believe but it's a game called near mage and it's fully funded it sort of well it did something like 15 stretch goals it, it got so much funding it's really exciting I don't want to break her concentration because um, it means that we'll be able to play another game by these guys on the channel at some point in the future, which is excellent because I've loved That's this one. One way of approaching literature, I guess. Yeah, this is a place, isn't it? He's way too focused for me to disturb him with chit chat. I thought Fishmouth was weird in the first place, but it's extra well, this weird is now. Just... I don't even want to know. <laughs> what is going really, on? Really, really not interested in what he has to say. Uh, right, balance, yeah, okay, so we've looked at all of that, so I guess we talked to the couple of fish Fishmouthians. fish -mouthians. A welcoming-looking couple of local residents, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, can we talk to them? Hello. Greetings, uh, uh, brother and sister. Hello, and welcome to the festival, fellow believer. Oh, it's those two. <laughs> yeah. But I compliment you on your smell, brother. Oh. Uh, thanks. Just a uh, curiosity. Is it the socks? Probably. Uh, Could well yeah. be. Okay, it's the socks. That's what I thought. Enjoy the festival. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, 
to be fair, we've been in the socks for quite a while now without any shoes on, so the socks may be contributing to the smell. It's, it's very possible. Oh, God, look at what, 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 sorry, what is going on here? <laughs> that is a very odd animation, I must say. Uh, corner cultist, what, what is happening? Hello. Greetings, sister. Are you not bothered by the, uh, the adjacent vomiting? Zishta zidaraku zibelurduk kanpa yashta kanpa ya. Okay. Yeah. It is a shame about the economy, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. So, got this one up here as well. Other than the expected seafood, I detect a nice, healthy addition of carrots to his diet. Yeah. Is I mean, is he? He's being sick. Everything okay up there? Ah. Uh. You might want to move, lady, because there's a guy above you vomiting all over the place. All right then. Yeah, you just, you just do whatever you're doing, buddy. Um, God, there's people everywhere. Excuse me, brothers. Go away. Oh my God. Can't you see we're talking here? Rude. Yeah, scary as well. It's a lot. Ooh. I heard the oil. That came in handy before, Oil's didn't it? leaked out of the abandoned truck into a big slimy puddle. Yeah, what can we... No, you can't gather it anyway. Doomsayer, studious cultists. My god, there's... There's a lot going on over here. Oh, okay, do, do we even need to talk to any of these people? <gasps> the trash can. There's something in the trash can. Alright. I guess stinking horribly yourself negates the downsides of rummaging through trash. So, here I go. Oh... Got a really rotten egg. Oh yeah. Oh not Squish another one. Goodness. Oh, that is nasty. And uh, a boot. Okay. Okay. All right. Nice. Um. Fair enough. Made it to Fishmouth, and the festival was in full swing. Ignoring both the place's stench and my own, and trying to figure out where exactly in this town the butcher's hiding. I know it's a little weird to be carrying rotten eggs around, but they might prove useful in case someone's in need of humi someone in case someone's in need of humiliating and public disapproval. They also nicely complement my smell. Fantastic. Um, looks like we can go down there now. What's this doomsayer? This doesn't look good. That guy's really passionate about Father Dagon. Okay, can we talk? Ah, oh, you say. Father Dagon and Mother Hydra are our. Uh... Yeah. Uh, biggest problem? Biggest problem. They are our biggest problem. And it has never been uh, uh, clearer that uh, w w with their help, uh, we shall never. Uh... uh, achieve anything. Achieve anything. Let's ruin their little we fun. Shall never achieve anything. Or oh, no, any other uh, gods. Look around, brothers. Cast your your eyes on the person next to you. What do you see? Well, I see a group of... Uh... All I can see is this guy jumping up and down up here. He's distracting me. Losers. Losers. A group of losers. Like I've never uh, seen before, and our uh, numbers are always r rising. Make no mistake, our uh, uh, en en endeavor is a uh, 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 waste of time. Waste of time. Our endeavor is a waste of time. <laughs> Fear us. World, take a good, uh, hard look at us, for we shall bring uh, uh, nothing but, um, uh, but, um... Lemon cake and cotton candy. <laughs> Lemon cake and cotton candy. We're fully ruining Lemon that, cake that and little cotton speech. cotton candy to your doorstep. Uh, we are uh, uh, the, the next in, in, in line uh, uh, for, um... All right, that got him a little riled up. Nice. Why do we need to get them riled up? Brothers, brothers, wait, it's a misunderstanding. I didn't mean. 
Okay, well, they're getting annoyed for some reason. Uh, let's have a look at what that did for the diary. I managed to get the crowd a little angry at the doomsayer. Now to lead by example. Okay, well, let's see that for now. I mean, this guy is just ridiculous. Just jumping up and down. This this is um, pure chaos here. I got nothing to say. Uh, what's this? It's, oh, it's the truck. An incredibly beat up car, desolately leaning on the sidewalk. Yeah. Um, there's also a crowbar here. Okay, looks like we can pick that up. Mine. Nice. Okay, so we've got a crowbar for some reason. Voodoo priest. Hello. It's another voodoo guy by the looks of it. Yeah, not as cool as the voodoo gentleman though. Hello there, brother. Uwangba, Papa Legba. Oh, sorry, I, uh, I had no idea. All right, we'll ignore him. We'll leave him by B. We don't want to get involved in like the proper voodoo stuff. Only the fake voodoo stuff from the vo oh my god, look at this from the voodoo gentleman is what we're interested in. Uh, oh, far gazing cultist. This weirdo is really interested in what's going on in the distance. Yeah, what is going on in the distance? Looks like maybe people in boats or something. Don't want nothing to do with them. Okay. Um, Devil's Reef floating cultist. How's he floating? What's going on? He looks like he's guarding whatever insanity's going down in the water. Jeez. What is going on in the water? I'm leaving him alone. Oh, there's like people swimming around or something. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Some kind of, I don't even know how to describe it. It's going on far in the water. Is it next people to the reef? Swimming? I don't know. There's a dude here. Hello, dude. It's a non festive looking dude. Just chilling yeah, over there. Yeah, he doesn't really look like part of the festival, does he? Can we talk to him? Evening, sir. No offense, but you don't really look like you belong here. Ew, hey there, Padre. Yeah, no, I'm kind of visiting only. I thought they didn't let visitors in during the festival. Depends on who you're with, bro. My wife's a regular. We're here on our honeymoon. Ah, uh, see. Um, interesting choice for a honeymoon. Interesting choice for a honeymoon. Yeah, well, sort of a goodbye to the old way of living on her part, as an F, I mean. Then we're totally changing our lives around. Really? Oh, is she around? She's in there getting some fish and chips for us. Nice. Ugh, not partial to fish myself. No, not not. Then what not in this the situation. heck are you here for, dude? <laughs> but yeah, I ain't crazy about him either. But hey, when in Fishmouth, you know, we're splashing out into like a debauchery sort of deal while we're here, and then we're totally changing our lives around. Good, good for you guys. I'm really happy for you. Um, you know anything about a guy called the Butcher? You know anything about a guy called the Butcher? Butcher? Yeah. Unless he's in there preparing my fish and chips. Nah, dude. All right. Uh, nice to see someone happily married. Nice to see someone happily married. Didn't get to experience that yourself, bro? No, bro. Me? Happily? Ah, so uh, he was married then. No, but uh, I'm glad it worked for you. Yeah, man, me too. You know what I love about Azana? No, but bet you're going to tell us. She's all up in your business wives, you yeah, know? Yeah, there we go. She ain't about, I don't know, taking my life over. That's nice. Yeah, I love that she gives me my personal space. Uh, what else do you like about your wife? What else do you like about your wife? She just lets me be me. That's major. Uh, anything else? Anything, uh, anything else you like about your wife? She's not possessive. I'd hate that. Uh, what's another thing you like about your wife? What else do you like about your wife? She loves being herself and leaving my life and my time to myself. Seems like you're just repeating the same thing, man. Um, tell me another thing. Tell me another thing you like How many about of these her? are there? <laughs> you know what? This conversation's getting a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> too hungry for it. I love how it was actually yeah, aware right. of it. Sorry. Uh, okay. Um, what's with the passed out guy with the eggs? Hey. What's with the passed out guy with the eggs? I don't know, dude. It's sort of gross, but at the same time, he's kind of ruining my appetite. Which is cool, though, because I've been waiting on my fish and chips forever. Yeah, he's out cold. Guess his eggs are free for the taking. Apparently we need more eggs. I guess so, man, if that's your kind of thing. Apparently it is. It's cool, bro. Seriously. I'm not judging. I wouldn't care yeah, if thanks. you were. It means a lot. To be honest with you. Alright, man. I'll uh I'll let you wait for your meal in peace. Alright, man. 
I'll, uh, I'll let you wait for your meal in peace. Enjoy the festival, Brosif. Yeah, thank you, you too. And don't indulge too much, you hear? Ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, Right, there's a guy sleeping here. This bozo's out cold, feet in the air, underwear flying in the wind. Disgraceful. <laughs> he also dropped all his eggs. He did, and apparently we need them. I'm gonna let him get his rest. Alright, yep, fine. Can we take the eggs? Apparently we can. I'm picking it up. Oh, God, I'm actually doing it. Oh. Go on then, do it. Oh, that one's even more destroyed than the last one. Why have we got all these eggs? It's gross. Uh, right, okay. Colt is sick out of window. I love how they've made these, like, exclusive that is the names. definition of rear window. <laughs> Can we talk? We're full. Go somewhere else. No, apparently Stop we can't. Pushing. No, I mean, I, I, I wasn't pushing. But okay. But anyway, guys, we are out of time. So we'll um, carry on looking around this absolutely mental festival in the next one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, and Paul from the Phantom Fellows for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy the video, hit on that like button, and I'll see you all next time.